So in this video, we will learn how to connect Facebook lead ads to MailStream to add subscriber. Now suppose guys, you are generating some new leads from Facebook lead ads and you want to add those leads into MailStream so that they can be a part of your email marketing campaign. Now you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be new lead generation in Facebook lead ads and the action will be addition of that lead, addition of that user into MailChimp. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first, we will go to a browser and search for pabbly value.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. And after signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pabbly. Here we have to click on access now below Pabbly Connect. And now we can see that we have reached to the Pabbly Connect dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Facebook lead ads. to MailChimp, Facebook lead ads to MailChimp and click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window. Second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new lead generating from Facebook lead ads in Pabbly Connect. Then after that, using Pabbly Connect, we will send that new lead details to MailChimp so that we can add that user in our MailChimp email list. Now to begin with, we here in trigger window in choose app, we have to search for Facebook lead ads. Facebook lead ads it is. And after selecting Facebook lead ads and trigger event from the drop down, select new lead instant. After selecting a trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Pabbly Connect. And to make this connection, just click on connect with Facebook lead ads. And because guys, I have already logged into my Facebook account over here in my browser, we can see that Pabbly Connect detected the very same account and made the connection. After connecting our Facebook lead ads account with Pabbly Connect, here the first thing it asks us is page. So here in the drop down, we can see a list of all the Facebook pages which we have created. So all of these pages, I have all of these pages in my Facebook account. And here Pabbly Connect is asking us out of all of these pages, on which page we are running our Facebook lead ads or from which page lead ads we want to get the leads and add it to MailChimp. So here I have a Facebook page named as Pabbly Tag. We will be using this page in this video. So we will search for this Facebook page, Pabbly Tech. I am running some lead ads on this page. I want to add those leads in MailChimp. After selecting our Facebook page, it is asking us lead generation form. So the form or the lead generation form from which we are generating leads is named as Pabbly. So here are all the forms, lead generation form, which I have created for this Facebook page. Out of which leads generating from this page named as Pabbly, I want to only add those leads into MailChimp. So I have selected that form. And after that, it is asking us page access token. So the page access token is automatically detected. We don't have to make any changes over there. And after that, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, it is showing us waiting for webhook response, which means Pabbly Connect is waiting to get the details of a new lead from Facebook lead ads in Pabbly Connect. Now what we are going to do, we are going to generate a test lead and how we are going to do that, we will be using Facebook's lead ad testing tool. So by going to developers.facebook.com tools and lead ad testing tool option, you can access this actually lead ad testing tool. And using this, we will generate a test lead, a dummy lead over here. So here at this lead ad testing tool, in the pages section from the drop down, select your Facebook page. And after that, select the lead ad form. So this was the form probably which we have selected. And then just click on this preview form button. Now we can see that our Facebook lead ad form, which we have created is now open in front of us in preview mode. Now we will be entering the details of a dummy lead and we are going to submit this form and generate a test lead. For example, details like dummy name. This is the name of the person. This is the email. 
and this is for example a dummy phone number and next click on next click on submit and that's it just now using facebook lead ad testing tool we have generated a test lead in our facebook lead ad form and because we have connected facebook lead ads with public connect we will see that the details of this newly generated lead will be captured inside public connect as well so we will go to our public connect workflow and here in this workflow and trigger window we have received a response and in this response we will see the details of the same lead same test lead by the name of dummy name which we have generated just now few seconds ago is now captured inside public connect so we have the same first name same last name same email as well as the same phone number so this means guys we have successfully completed the step 1 we have connected our facebook lead ads account with public connect then generated a test lead in facebook lead ad and received the response now after this guys we want to send the details of this new lead to mailchimp now to do so we will just scroll down and come to our action window in our workflow and here in choose app we will search for mailchimp mailchimp it is and after that in action event from the drop down we can see there are several action events over here out of which we will select the action event as add new member with custom fields click on connect and select add new connection now here guys we have to connect our mailchimp account with public connect and to make this connection we require the api key of our mailchimp account now here you must be thinking how we are going to get this api key now to get the api key just go to the dashboard of your mailchimp account and after that from the left side we can see profiles option just click on profiles and just click on profiles option over here after clicking on profiles here we have an option named as extra click on extra and then click on api key now as we click on api key we will scroll down and here we have an option named as create a key just click on create a key button and now we can see that a new api key is generated in our mailchimp account just copy this newly generated api key from here go to public connect and paste it over here after that it is asking us data center the help text below it says enter the data center example us19 which appears as a sub domain in your mailchimp account url so we have to enter the data center of your mailchimp account and how we are going to get it we just have to log into our mailchimp account and here in sub domain means after https colon double slash and before dot admin us6 this is my data center of my mailchimp account copy this data center name from here go to public connect and paste it over here and after that just click on save after clicking on save we can see that our mailchimp account is now successfully connected with public connect after making the connection it is asking us choose audience list so in the drop down we can see there is only one audience list i have created in my mailchimp account so i will select this list that i want to add the new user or new registrant member or new facebook lead in this lead in this audience list then it is asking us email address that what is the email address of the person to whom we want to add so we have received the email address from the of the person from facebook lead ads in public connect in our trigger window response and we have to basically map this very same email address over here in this email address field and the process of mapping is very simple guys simply click on this field and from the drop down below from the responses of facebook lead ad select the response of email address and map it so in the drop down we could have seen all the responses which we have received from facebook lead ads and out of all of these responses we have selected the response of email address and mapped it in this field of email address then it is asking us tag so here the field of tag is not mandatory not required so i will just ignore it then it is asking us select the status of subscriber so in the drop down we have several status like subscribed unsubscribed clean pending or transactional so i want to add these persons as a subscriber who is subscribed so i will select status as subscribed then it is asking us first name last name and mobile number so we have received first name last name and mobile number of the new facebook lead in public connect responses as well in trigger window so as we have mapped email address we will map these same details as well we will scroll down click on this field of first name and from the drop down from the responses of facebook lead ads select the response of first name and map it over here then after that follow the same process for last name as well from the drop down select and map the last name and at last the mobile number from the drop down map the phone number and after mapping all of these details just click on save and send test request 
and after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a very positive response to us. This response shows that the user whose details we have mapped over here, basically the newly generated Facebook lead is now successfully added as a subscriber as a member in our MailChimp account. So let's check it. We'll go to our MailChimp account and we'll go to all contacts section over here. And yes, guys, we can see that dummy name, the same lead whose details we have just now added few minutes ago in our Facebook lead ad form is now successfully added as a new member, as a new subscriber, as a new contact in our MailChimp account, which means the automation which we have created in this video, guys, is working perfectly fine. Now, after setting up this automation, we have to actually test this automation once. And so we will once again go back to a Facebook lead ad testing tool and before we create a new lead and test this automation, we have to basically delete the old lead because as you can see here, as you can read here, you can create one lead per form. You will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So Facebook lead ads allows us to create only one lead at a time in our te lead ad testing tool. So we'll just click on this delete lead button and it will delete the previous lead. And after that, we will just once again click on this preview form button. And here, this time we will enter the details of a new lead, a new dummy lead. For example, this time the name will be test name. This is the name of the new lead. Let's enter the email address as and this is the mobile number. Let's click on next and click on submit. So just now we have generated another test lead in our Facebook lead ad testing tool. And because we have created this automation, we will see that as this new lead is generated, instantly, automatically, this newly generated lead will be added as a new contact, as a new member in our MailChimp account. Let's go to a MailChimp account and refresh this all contacts page. And yes, guys, we can see that test name, this same user is instantly added as a contact, as a member in our MailChimp account. The same email address, the same first name, same last name and same mobile number. Which means guys, the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we will receive a new lead in our Facebook lead ads account, instantly the same lead will be added as a new content, as a new member in our MailChimp account as well. So after setting up this automation and testing it, we know that this automation is working perfectly fine. Now let's understand in brief that how we have created this automation. So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect. And in that workflow, we have selected Facebook lead ad as a trigger application and new lead instant was our trigger event. After that, we have connected our Facebook lead ad account. Then using Facebook lead ad testing tool, we have generated a new test lead and received the response of that new lead in Pavli Connect. After that, using Pavli Connect, we have sent the same data of newly generated lead to MailChimp so that we can add that person into a MailChimp account as a new member, as a new subscriber. So not just these applications, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.